you see my red, we are bringing mankind back to God's original intent. Hello, uh, my name is Mbale Nkeno Kolise Kusumagu and you are watching Kisima, one of our live podcasts. And today we have Oluitu. Oluitu Ngobo is the founder of Icon Fashion Week. We know, we know him from Icon Fashion Week, but he actually does sports and other stuff. So today we'll be asking him what is his purpose for him, but does he think that this is what God wants him to do? Yes. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We are actually happy to have you here today. Thank you so much. Um, but I have like two or three questions. It's not gonna be long. Um, my first question is who is Orit? We have seen your work, we know um, 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 about your work, but a lot of people don't know the guy behind why. Who is you? you guys will know right now the story. Yeah, break down the story. Like, we buy an order to, and then you're gonna go to the brand, and you're gonna go to the location. Yeah, basically, the way to is um, a kid who was a misfit, and he found icon maybe as an inspiration for him to um, maybe be an example of why God is using him as well. And uh, so, I just try to display it through my clothes to show what. Yes, I got I'm trying to basically build he has a lot of girl maybe in the world so I'm trying to motivate young kids for them to be and maybe my last name is always there and we are here to help you of course but even though it's good but we are bigger I feel like we are bigger bigger purposes so um, I try to spare everything I do to motivate people um, the things I post is not to brag it's to motivate the next year maybe I can find a role kid that is in a situation or maybe come from a township and saying wow well, somebody's doing this we also came from the same place I, I came from. Oh that's lovely. So, yeah. so I like the fact that you believe that this is your purpose. You believe that yeah. this is what God wants you to do and can do. Yeah. Right. So when did you start? How did you find out that you want to be in the, in the, in the, in the space of fashion? When did you start? Uh, actually, how did you find out? It's a funny story because when I was a kid I used to change three four times. My friends probably be like, you know, this guy's gay. It sounds like that, but um, no, I just always like being a clean person. Mm -hmm. I like to stand out. And uh, it's a funny story. My sister, uh, we were walking with her in, uh, in the mall, and a girl approached me and said, Can I take a photo? I think it's a liberty. Of course, as a 12 year old kid, you know, oh, he gave yeah. me his attention and shit. I think just that I kind of that brand. The first brand that I made is uh, Rich Kids. Um, and I started it in 2014. Now. I designed throughout the whole year when I was 13. And I found somebody at the same passion and the same motivation. It's called Sandra. I see her over it to this day. Um, he basically wanted me to be his model when I took the other. I was like, well, um, maybe I'm not that good looking. Yeah. Like, nah. <laughs> like, nah, bro, you got, you got taste, I like it. So we joined together and we built this brand into City that I can't. So um, I'm actually wearing one of Icon fashion items here and on way too, this is very like inspiration, especially for us people of and me. <laughs> because you started off as the age in a, in a 14, right? Yeah. And you built a brand from the age of 14. Yeah. And you registered it at 14 at least um, to sell. No, of course I had to I had to some stuff I had to learn for myself. Okay. Um, I had to do research on the brand. Mm. At, the, at first, it was a passion. I was like, yeah, I have to do icon. Mm. And you don't, when you go into, when you jump into the industry, you have any knowledge of what it's all going to be as a person. Sometimes you do stumble. So I, it wasn't registered. And that took me two or three years to realize yeah. why that's a long year, but I had to. Um, it took me three years to realize. And then Sam was like, no, bro, you have to register because it's growing up. People yeah. are Because rich kids are my friends support them. Yeah. And that circle of friends that I'm to this day. So um, when my friend invested so much money to my brand at the other day, she like they say you want out for one of your own people. Um I was like inspired by a wow, I found very good friends. There's a lot of people here in the back of course, right? And but the favorite good friends who and they could circle became a person. So having friends I got to invest that much um money 
talent there. Yeah. You can see it. Maybe this can grow because that type is just a hobby. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I just feel like a grown person. I'm so glad for that. Of course, I met some bad friends, but the good ones are still here till today. So, yeah. so how did you how did you move from Icon and it's just um, a brand for you and your friends and people around you to Icon Fashion Week and to have Icon Fashion Week in City ICC. It's your aim. You had it last year, right? And what was um, the message that you were trying to send through Icon Fashion Week? Uh, I felt like from because we had our first uh, fashion show in 2018, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. basically at that time, I was introducing myself into this industry because we were big industry mm -hmm. and when I was 14 of course and for a threat that whole year it was four years of my life I was just selling as a hobby so to I 18 I introduced the company not the brand to the whole uh, Cape Town material world and um, basically when we did one last year we were trying to show people like awareness yes. of uh, what's happening to me in South Africa mm -hmm. and uh, Black Lives Matter we, all, we, we were preaching that this last year it's sad to see that they're still doing the same thing yeah. So this day, but yeah, we're growing as people, and uh, we just have to educate, of course, our young ones yes. to not do the same mistake that we did. That's why most of the time, before I do something, I look back into history and say, "You did this, and did, you did that, and this, doing this one different." I, I use the uh, Bible most of the time because maybe the old book we have in this, in this world. So, yeah. And something that a lot of other people maybe don't know about you is the fact that each and every time you start a show, you would pray. With the team, I still remember you saying um, um, when we went to the Icon Fashion Week and you said everyone should stand up and um, pray. And we prayed before starting the fashion show. So, would you say that everything that you do, it is the Holy Spirit that leads you, or it's just you doing it and God is sitting there? No, I feel like I have to pray day in and day out. Uh, I come from a family where my dad is. Um, Grandpa or his great grandpa were like bishops. Yeah. We started a church, so we have um, a day in and day out we pray, we we'll read the Bible. So I come from a very strong yeah. uh, believing family. I know you know yourself as you know. mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel like through this world as we travel through it, God has a purpose for us and a story for us to do. So I pray in day and just tell him that um, God, please lead me in your direction and not get lost in this world. Mm -hmm. And I try to do that every day. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm just gonna take one or two of your outfits that Kabandu Babu and your what is it that you do? Because I'm saying that I'm dressed by you today and you are doing this and doing that, but yeah. people actually want to see. I see one of your outfits, right? It has Ivis and Tour. Yeah. And do you mind like telling us more about it? I'm just gonna take one of that and this the inspiration behind the two and this one because I see there's also like creative yeah. work at the back. This okay. is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So, so we'll start with the Addison tour. Well, basically, Addison tour um, with my CEO, Sandra, we found he basically approached Addison tour, of course, because we were a small brand at that time. We didn't think we could get them under condition, but they actually called us back and said, We like what you guys are doing. And they yeah. And, um, yeah, so it was a crazy journey still in the mm -hmm. uh, flying around in South Africa, the biggest, one of the biggest um, artists out there. And, uh, yeah, there's some great memories with them, and yeah, it was good. But you're going to see more projects in the country this year. How old are you now, Olu Tifa? You're 19 years old. Yeah, wow, this is very much inspirational. And on um, this one, I see a creative creative work at the back. Yeah. What is it all about? I see icon slash underdog. Underdog. This this was from a young artist with underdog who created this. And I, I like up this thing around young black children of course. Uh, uh, so basically so it's collab and then we did this nothing but words. And um, this one was the inspiration behind it. Yeah, this one was, I actually saw somebody wear this. It was like a kid I bought a farm in the Yeah, yeah. So um, I just took a farm and then I did my creation and the pockets. And I just made it already. Now. This is my own taste because I like 
this month's up there. Like, oh, it's up there. That's what it is. Oh, thing. Okay, so I um, wanted to. I have Romans 8, verse 28 in the Bible. It says, All things work together for those who trust in the Lord. Right? So it actually, when you go down, it actually shows that there is good in every man. Now we are facing COVID 19 yeah. and um, this gender based violence, yeah. and um, there's many other struggles that a lot of young people are going through. What what do you think um, will come out from this? Okay, what is it that has come out from for for now? Yeah. Of course, like business ones, um, a lot of our companies go down. Of course, as us as our companies, more business. Um, yeah. We've also had our struggles. You know, customers want something you can't send. It's personal stuff. Okay, but personally, I've grown as a person. Um, of course, reading the Bible more, you know, reading Revelation, God, God. So to read more and try to understand what this is this world we're living in. Okay, so everything that I'm doing right now, um, I have to be very well because of course I got lost. Yeah. So I mean, I've been in my heart um, to attach it with it. But I've seen that there's nothing crazy to have uh, and then of course it is you are the job card. So everything that you do in this world, you serve you. And um, I've seen a lot of people who have depressed and uh, maybe not see their vision. So I always try to introduce God to somebody's life. And all my friends that I've been so good with are they're very family based, um, godly Christians, of course. Um, and we're growing as young kids in this business, we're growing through God, and we're just trying to help each other in and out. Um, that brings ourselves in this world for our depression. Uh, so I, I try to display that a lot, but most of the time, I'm also <laughs> introvert. Where I go into my own bubble. If I'm depressed, I don't tell the whole world. But I've learned um, through my friends that we are a family. Yeah. We're speaking to each other. So, yeah, it's, it's good to have people like that in my life because, yeah, they are really, really good. They're not out here. Great. So, that's all you to know about. And for our Ange, we know that we have Makoza um, that's going to be performing for us. Yeah, well, she's going to she's gonna sing. <laughs> She's gonna sing or give us one of, I'm not sure, poetry or sing whatever that she's gonna be doing yeah, for us. But, um, only to our mind, it is a kissing, it is to facilitate mankind back to God's original intent. Yeah. As you've said, it's a kind of interview that you believe that this is what God created you to do. Yeah. What advice would you give to a young person that, that wants to be in your position yeah. and, um, but what is it that you would say to them? I feel like everybody's born with a dream, but if you don't have goals to achieve the dream day in and day out, um, you, you're going to lose yourself very quickly. Because I know a lot of people out there who want to be artists, mm -hmm. who want to be um, athletes, mm -hmm. they put in the work behind the scenes. Of course, you guys don't see what to do behind the scenes, you produce a lot of the things that you do. Yeah. So if you put in the work and you're passionate for something and you're disciplined, mm -hmm. At the age of 12, 13, 14, you started your own brand yeah. and now you're growing and growing and growing. Um, thank you so much for your time and that's it from now. We will see you again, maybe, so we fashion with our own name in, in uh, Australia or in New York. Yeah. But um, we wish you all the best and we call you in Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As you see my we are bringing mankind back to God's own.